What's going on guys, your boy Ryan here, I'm back with another video, you already know, you read the title, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, before we get into that man, uh, shout out to everybody who came by the CSA Awards, uh, round 3, we were live last night, so uh, if you missed it, go check it out, it's on Black Bond's channel right now. Um, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good time, having fun still to this day, um, having fun with it, so definitely uh, it's gonna be interesting to see who wins. But uh, let me go ahead and address one particular thing, okay? And this is towards uh, Dealer Gaming. Um, dealer, I got nothing against you personally. I really don't, okay? Now, I understand that you're upset because your name's in the corporate slave uh, banner, like you're on the brackets. But listen, right? Listen, okay? I didn't put your name on the bracket. Neither did Alex, neither did Bon, or The Great Exposer, okay? None of us put your name on the bracket, bro. The community put your name on the bracket. So if anyone you should be mad at, it should be the community. And I think you might want to reevaluate the way you do your channel to avoid such things like that happening. Okay? I cannot tell you how many dudes came at me saying I'm a corporate slave, yet this community comes to my channel and says, Ryan is the opposite. Because I tell it how it is. My, my advice for you is this. Don't be biased. Just tell it how it is. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm pretty sure it's going to be some troll. Like, oh, you're biased. Nah. I tell it how it is. There's good Xbox news, I report it. Bad Xbox news, I report it. Bad Sony news, I report it. Good Sony news, I report it. Nintendo as well. And this is one of those situations where Nintendo is on the chopping block. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into this, okay? Oh boy, how do I even approach this, guys? How do I even approach this? Nintendo unveils the Labo, a, well, really a $70 cardboard controller for the Switch that you have to build yourself. Now, when I first was, when I first was taught to, like, was heard about this, right? Because uh, Bond hit me up on Twitter. I didn't even know what this was. I didn't. You know, I was sitting there talking to a few people about a few things. I was, I did a live stream yesterday, you know, some uh, serious topics that we need to talk about. But, you know, I was really just chilling for the most part. I didn't really, you know, look into this. Bond sends me a tweet. He says, yo, we need to talk about this Labo. I'm like, what the hell you mean, Labo? So like, yeah, it's cardboard. I'm like, what, what? You know what I'm saying? And then out of the blue, so once he said, like, we need to talk about this cardboard, I get a damn tweet. A damn tweet shows up in my feed. And it's Blandrew. <laughs> Shout out to Blandrew. But Blandrew actually pre-ordered this damn, uh, you know, this whole thing. He bought the robot Labo. And again, I'm scratching my head. What the hell is a Labo? So I see the video, and I see the numerous things that go with this Labo. You can use it for like a keyboard, or not, not keyboard, for fucking um, like a piano. You can do a damn robotic uh, controller type of thing. You can use it like a droid or some, some shit like that. I'm not mistaken. Um, <laughs> you know, there's no saying, guys, that, you know, Nintendo dudes will buy anything Nintendo puts their name on, right? Dude, that's why a lot of people made jokes about that. You know, a lot of people did. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are familiar with the jokes. A lot of people say, oh, if Nintendo came out with knickknacks, Christmas ornaments. They came out with snow cones. They came out with knickknacks and, and damn uh, wallpaper and underwear and onesies and damn... <laughs> God. Oh, Lord. Monitors, you know what I'm saying? Like... Uh people will buy it from the Nintendo camp. Now, <laughs> out of all things to support, guys, now I understand if you love Nintendo, I understand if you're a diehard Nintendo fan and you just love Nintendo, you love what they bring to the table, that's fine. I'm not saying, you know, you're wrong for loving Nintendo, no, especially if you grew up with Nintendo and you're still with Nintendo to this day. You know what I'm saying? I know a few females who are, you know, still with Nintendo to this day. But then, you know, as soon as the CSA award is over, they called me and me, they was like, Ryan, what the fuck is a Labo? And I'm like, ah, <laughs> you got me. You got me on this one. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sit here and say it's trash. I'm not going to sit here and destroy it. But I'm going to tell you right now. It's stuff like this. This is the reason why people call Nintendo kitty. This is the reason why people don't say Nintendo is for adults. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people call this a kitty platform. And, you know, they call the people who support Nintendo man babies you know what i'm saying big kids in denial you know 
cardboard, my dudes. Cardboard? Now, <laughs> I would love to throw this what-if scenario in here, right? I want to throw this what-if scenario in here so bad, and only you guys can answer it. So sound off in the comments below. But what do you guys think the reaction would have been, okay? If Nintendo didn't do this and Sony did this first, what do you think the reaction would have been to the with the gaming community? What do you think will happen if Microsoft did this first? Exactly. Why can't we hold Nintendo to the same standards <laughs> that, that we hold everybody else, man? Don't get me wrong. Nintendo has done a great job with the Switch, right? They have done a great job. They're bringing games to the Switch. You know, they, they're bringing a lot of ports as well. But still, they're bringing games. They're, they're giving you incentive to buy a Switch, right? That's understandable. But there's more stuff Nintendo's not even bringing to the Switch. You know? Now, there's rumors of the whole achievement system. So... I'll believe that when I actually see it, but you know, there's no achievements on the system. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Fucking other shit, man. It's other shit on this damn thing. That's just bare bones. But you know, I'm willing to, you know, I'm willing to put that shit off to the side because you know, it is a handheld. You know, it is a handheld console. But still, you know, people just you know they they give Nintendo pass on the silliest shit. They're like, oh, it's a handheld, so you should be more forgiving. No, I should not. No, I should not. It's not even a handheld. If you go to their if you go to their damn page for this damn Switch console, right? They call it a console. It's their console. It's not a switch. It's not a handheld. Okay? For the people trying to throw this thing like in the in the light and say that, oh, you guys need to defend this because, you know, this is their, you know, this is their handheld. You know, it's not a console console. It's a console, guys. It's a console. It just has the ability to be played on the go. It's a console. It's a console. And you know what's sad about this though? The people defending this saying that it's a, uh, you know, it's a handheld fail to realize that they've already announced, you know, the new handheld for the 3DS. Already announced that. So my point is, you know, it's just, it's, it's pointless for us to, you know, damage control. It's pointless for us to let Nintendo believe they can get away with shady practices like this. It's stupid. You know, it does nothing for gaming. It really does nothing for gaming. You know? And I don't think anybody would disagree. I don't. I don't think anybody would disagree. It's just one of those situations where you look at it, you really look at it, and you really process it. And you go, you know, did I really just, really just buy eighty dollars worth of cardboard where I can buy myself? You know. I mean, I kid you not. They got backpacks, cardboard backpacks for this damn thing. Backpacks. You know what I'm saying? Backpacks. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Again, I don't care if you like Nintendo or whatever. You can love Nintendo, but let's be real here. <laughs> let's be real here. I already know we lovers going to damage throw this shit up a store. Who knows? You might have to go back to Easy Street on this one. I don't know. We're going to see. But, man, I am shocked. I really am shocked by how low they have, uh, they have went with this one. They went pretty damn low. You know what I'm saying? I never thought in all my years as a gamer I would see a company like Nintendo, especially Nintendo, you know what I'm saying, fall so heavily into the whole, you know, just really into these gimmicks and stuff like that. I never thought they would go that hard into those gimmicks. Like, literally, they just, they just delved into those gimmicks. But, damn, the gimmicks have officially reached a, a all-time low. Charging you seventy dollars for cardboard. Now, for anybody who tries to defend this, again, I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking Nintendo or anything. I'm just saying, man, we need to hold Nintendo to the the basic standards that we hold everybody else, man. We do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking Nintendo. But let's be real here. If PlayStation did this, especially you know, all right, Bland Drew, everybody, if PlayStation did this shit, not mean this. If PlayStation did this shit, you may motherfuckers. Will be the main ones on Twitter. Angry. You mean you main ones. You main ones will be on Twitter talking shit. You guys would be saying that uh, PlayStation's a joke. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I mean hell. Y'all remember Wonder Book? Remember how bad Wonder Book got destroyed by the uh, community? Remember that? That's exactly what will happen. That's exactly what will happen if this whole uh, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying this whole situation goes down. If PlayStation was to do that, if Xbox would have done that, especially if Xbox would have done it. But, you know, it's Nintendo, so I guess Nintendo gets to pass on everything. <laughs> oh, man. 
If you guys liked the video, man, thumbs it up. If you did not, thumbs it down. You know, pretty sure I'm gonna have a, a few thumbs down because you know, uh, people just you know think uh, people are attacking Nintendo. No, no. When Nintendo does stupid stuff like this, it needs to be uh, addressed. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, it's in the description below. Go follow me on Twitter. You know, what I'm saying you'll find the links to everything. Go ahead and do that. I'll see you guys there. If we continue our conversations. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um, man, this is one of those situations, man. <laughs> one of those situations where I just, uh, I I'm just gonna hang my head, man. Hang my head. I got other serious topics to talk to, but damn, this is just, uh, wow. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. I'll see you guys in my next upload. Yeah, the upload that I promised yesterday, I didn't even get a damn chance to get to, so it's all good. You guys have a good one, though. Deuces. Thank you.